Who TV with brother Chiz. And I'm about to drop some knowledge on you for the people waking up and people to wake up. Um, give us a little, uh, little introduction to yourself, brother. It's brother Chuck. Been in the knowledge. Call me Chiz, though. But I've um, been in the knowledge for a minute. And, um, you know, we're trying to wake our people up like we've been trying to wake our people up. We sleep dead. You know what I mean? That's what they call the walking dead. Right. Um, with their eyes open but can't see. But they watch, They love that show. <laughs> I love it, too. I ain't going front. I fuck with the walking dead because the walking dead is actually a representation of us. Right. But they don't see that. They don't know that. Man, but look. You got to start looking at TV shows because everything is about us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they, they invented religion to separate you from what you really connected of right. or connected to. Right. But at the same thing, at the same time, when you see the walking dead, we are the walking dead. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know them. what I mean? We zombies. Exactly. You know what I mean? Stuck in religion, church, Islam, all that stuff, man. And we are the creation of all these things. Right. So you all of that. So if you ain't gonna believe in yourself, who you gonna believe into? Because right. your oppressor know you better than you know you. Because he already used you as a guinea pig. Right. Still using you as one. Every time you go to the doctor, right. you get a flu shot. Right. You know what I mean? You go there, they are experimenting on you. You the experiment. Right. So, you know, you're either going to wake up, you're going to stay dead. Mm -hmm. And those that don't seek knowledge will die. Right. So, you know what I mean? In some, in, in, in some case, you got to look into yourself and wonder why you're on earth. Right. You know what I mean? You're on earth because evidently you did something <laughs> that was crucial. Or you volunteered to come in. Yeah, or you, you did volunteer, but at the same time, only way you could have volunteered... Is only because somebody had already fell down here that wasn't supposed to be down here. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because at one time the, the planet was vibrating. And see, this is metaphysical stuff. And if your mind ain't ready for this, then I can understand it. I can dig it because I don't believe in ignorance. Because I always say ignorance is those that don't know. And those that don't know can find an understanding of knowing. Right. And that's what you got to start using, your knower. Books, people write books. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you're already connected to everything on this planet. This universe, the, the cosmos, the stars, the moon, the sun. You're already connected to all of that. But we was taught that Jesus, Allah, Buddha, all those other people was, you know was those people, and we praise those people. Right. You go to church, you praise what, Jesus on what, Sunday, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and, and then you come out, but you still be who you are. Right. Still drink, still do the things that people do, so what, what is righteous about that? I don't even like the word righteous, because you know, I'm a spiritual person. I believe in me, the ancestors, and those people that came before me, you know, that's looking over me. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, got to get out of belief and start knowing. Right. You know what I mean? Because if you believe in something, that's, you know, you believe in going to work every day. Right. You know what I mean? People believe in going to church on Sundays. People believe in going to drink all day. And, and you know, do what they do. But, you know, next one. All right. Um... So people that's still stuck in the Bible, how can they find if how can they find Jesus real? Because I I know that it's metaphysics in the Bible. That part I do know. It's, it's a metaphysical thing that attaches to beyond what we can the normal person can understand. But for those who ain't at that level, that's a metaphysical level as far as when they hear that Jesus wasn't real and none of these characters in the Bible can be validated and most of those stories came from the walls of uh, pyramids and uh, libraries in Egypt. And so what, how can they track down to find out
the, the, that kind of truth? Well, first, you got to get rid of the belief system. You know what I mean? Because everything is already in you. So if you look within yourself and you ask for these things, it'll happen. Right. But if you continue, you know, to fight yourself, <laughs> which mostly everybody do because nobody want to see truth. Right. Because everything that you was taught, you think is true. Right. But everything that you were taught is not true. Right. You know, that's the first thing. You got to deprogram yourself. Right. If you you can't de deprogram yourself, then... And open your mind up yeah, to you possibilities. Can't. Yeah, you got to open your mind. Get out that box. Right. You know what I mean? You in a box. If you in a box, then you ain't going to never find yourself. You're going to continue to believe in religion and Jesus. And, you know, Jesus is Horus. Right. Heru. Haru, where you get hero from. And explain, like I have to explain the breakdown when you hear Osiris, Isis, and Horus. Those, those, which is, those are the Greek names. Yeah, those, those, those were Greek names. You know, the real name uh, uh, of... Osiris, uh, Haru. Yeah, Osiris, and Haru. Those are the real names. Right. But, um, you know, those were the first, you know, mother, son, and child. Right. You know what I mean? And your Vatican people kiss the mother, son, and child all the time, every day. Right. Kiss the feet in the basement of the Vatican. Right. So, you know, if you want to deprogram yourself, you just got to let everything you think you know go. Right. You and know so what I mean? I can't even tell you how to get rid of Jesus. Jesus is the baddest motherfucker on this planet. Now, now ask, let them know that it's counter it's counter truths out there to keep you in that box. Oh yeah, it's, when you it's research really counter truths because why would your oppressor tell you something that's your history so you you can follow their line. Their line continue they they, they institutions that's for you to stay into the system. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So why would they give you something to make you Say that you the kings of the queen of this fucking universe and and, and set them back. They only been on the planet for six thousand years. You gotta go back. Right. Caucasian only been on the planet for six thousand years and right now they know their time is up. Right. And so we waking up mm -hmm. and they dying. Right. And they know that and that's what I say. Everything on this planet right now, if if you don't if you really want to know some real stuff, everything on this planet right now is about melanin. Yeah, and melanin more expensive than gold on the market. Oh, uh, melanin. It's your black damn body. They can't go buy no melanin in no store. Hey, they can't go to Africa. They can't go to the Congo. They can't go to none of these places to get melanin. Melanin is your black body. So when you hear all these brothers and sisters keep dying around the world, it's for their melanin. Right. You go get... um. You got brothers and sisters talking about suntan lotion. Right. Should no black person be using no goddamn suntan lotion? At all. At all. Because you already melanated. Right. You already got a, a compositive connection to the damn sun. They give you energy, vitamin D. It will clean your eyes out. Do all these things for you. But every year, see you with your shades on. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sun coming down. Giving you them rays, even though we living in a holographic, you know, we living in a holographic system. You know what I mean? They trying to keep the sun and the double suns, two suns getting ready to come. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when them suns get ready to come, it's gonna start burning shit up on the planet. And y'all people need to start getting connected to the universe, right? Because you are the universe, and the more connected you get to the universe, the more things can happen 